Hello YouTube, what is up? Metro here, 2012 here, coming at you with a video about how to get a good face scan in NBA 2K16. I made a video like this last year. Um, this is, uh, 2K16 is a little bit different of a face scan. Uh, 2K15 was a little bit more of like a picture of your face, and then it was just kind of like put on the guy. But now it kind of like just rounds your face the way it should be. So last year's almost looked more realistic, but this year it fits better with all the all of the cutscenes that they have and stuff like that so that's kind of why they went that route I know you probably are wondering why the heck there's that much light coming in to my bedroom but um, I'll talk about that a little bit later uh, because we're gonna talk about how to get a really good face scan and that is one of the things so I might as well start off with that the one thing you're gonna need to get a good face scan is have a lot of light preferably natural light and I know they say that in the intro but really if you are trying to do the picture in a dark basement room or a room without a window don't don't even try it you are going to have to be in a room with natural light um, and preferably facing that natural light so I'll kind of walk you through how I went about uh, doing my face scan but you're going to need that amount of light like and it's gonna have to be bright in the room you can't just use artificial light I guess you could but you look really pale that way um, but the other thing you want to do is go to the vitals and set your skin tone to a realistic skin tone um, preferably one to blend in a little bit like so you can see kind of my eyebrows there's like you can see where my eyebrows actually are in the skin it looks a little bit darker on my skin um, and we don't you don't really want that so you want the skin tone to kind of blend that in as much as it can so that's what that like I mean usually I have facial hair here and here that's why I did that so once I have that up a little bit um, once I grew this out a little bit, it'll look a lot more like me. But the thing was I wanted to shave because last year when I did my face, kind of had a little bit of stubble and stuff. And then it kind of showed in there as like just darker skin and it looked really weird. I almost had to put a beard over it. So I made sure I was shaved before this. So that's another thing is if you have facial hair or even stubble, you're going to want to shave that. Um, and that's another tip. But with the natural light, you're going to want to make sure it's facing you. So you take the PlayStation camera. I recommend not putting it on the TV and like looking up at it take it and it has this little clip thing on the back you're gonna to want to hold it facing you um, and when you're looking at the camera it's actually the left camera that takes it it's not both cameras it's not the right camera so you're gonna to want to look right directly into this camera and put it kind of right between your eyes at eye level so you're gonna want the natural light like in front of you so I'm gonna be like turning this way and then I want that camera to be right between my eyes at eye level and then when they ask you to turn both ways you kind of just turn slowly left and turn slowly right you don't have to go like way out here or way out here you just go like a little bit and a little bit and usually they can get that and um, you want to get as many points as possible I'll show you what the points are but let's go ahead and try to do another face scan hopefully I don't ruin this because I got a pretty good one um, the other thing you're probably gonna have to know is it's gonna take more than one try so let's try scanning our face Okay, so I'm going to be facing the other way and probably not saying anything. Okay, so you saw there, I had to kind of turn back and forth a few times, and that's because I could see the reflection of the camera. It was still stuck at 90%, and when it is stuck like that, 90% it means it didn't get all the points it was looking for, so you had to just kind of keep turning back and forth slowly, but you don't want to just, like, 
shake your head back and forth. You want to go nice and slowly. So right now it's showing that reference points collected is 919, which is not that good so far. Hopefully it puts some more on there. But earlier I had like 16,000 and that's what my that my current face scan was. If you're below 10,000, it's probably not going to be a good one. It might still say you had a great face scan and stuff like that, but I would say you're going to want to go for over 10,000. And this one might turn out, you never know, but don't be scared when it comes out just like a bald head because I know that's really scary because it doesn't look anything like you but when you kind of put on your eyebrows and your hair and facial hair maybe it uh it definitely makes it look a lot more like you so we're up to 7,800 reference points now um I'll show you kind of what I mean too because if it's if it's lower than 10,000 it probably won't be perfect if it is I'll be surprised and I'll be pleasantly surprised but my eyebrows are really big and bushy and they like go really far so like the scan is just awful for my eyebrows because it just makes my skin darker it doesn't for some reason doesn't recognize that those are my eyebrows which is kind of frustrating but you're gonna have to probably get eyebrows that are bigger than yours in the game just to kind of compensate for uh, what it looks like in the game so right now it's putting the points on my face is definitely not aligned but pretty soon here it's gonna just whoop, shoot right up um, so then my nose lines up with my nose um, hopefully it does it sooner rather than later. So now we have 10,000. So I'm not as worried about the scan anymore. Uh, we should be, we should have a pretty decent st scan with 10,000. If you're getting like a thousand or less, you're, you're not, you don't have like the proper lighting or you're going too fast or something like that. Usually it's lighting. So if you're, if you're getting below 1000 or even if you're getting below like 5,000, you're going to want to get to a well lit room. And I'm telling you, you're going to have to move your PlayStation, your TV to a well-lit room. If you're going to have to do that, you, you should do it. Because um, having the natural light is just a game changer. You saw all those ugly faces last year for like how the scans didn't turn out. And is you could just tell it was people doing it in their basement. So definitely have natural light. Again, look into the left camera and go pretty slow. So hopefully you'll get to see the finished product looking good um, is what I'm hoping for. So unfortunately I lost like 5,000 reference points and I don't know if I can undo that. It's taking a long time. I wonder if it didn't recognize something on me or what's going on. I really am kind of curious as to why it's taking so long. Here you go, moment of truth. So it says scan quality is great, but we'll see. Like, it'll probably look like an alien. Yeah, see, it kind of like... Oh, whoops. Nope, didn't mean to do that. I hit the paddle because I have a scuff. So I actually bumped the paddle. It's not what we want. We don't want to rescan it. We don't look at it. Come on. No. Okay, so that... In my mind, it really doesn't look like me, but again, we're going to have to, I'll show you what I mean by going through this. So like, I see the purple on my eyebrows, and that's awful. That's like what my dark eyebrows do, do when it scans. So I'm going to change the skin tone, and then I'm going to go, nope, cancel. Nope. No, I did it again. Oh. Sorry, guys. We're just getting to the good stuff. So I'll add some hair in and that'll make it look a lot better. I 
I think parted shorts usually what I go with. My hair doesn't stick up quite that far, but. Even with thick eyebrows, you can still kind of see that purple, which I don't like. I'm going to have to rescan it, but usually that purple stuff like won't be in there, but I'll just, I'll continue the process just to show you guys. So really the profile does actually look like me. Oh, that's not a good example, but really it does. Like if I have pictures for me from the side, it looks like it looks all like me. It's just that like the eyebrows are like a lot weirder this year. They're weirder about that. But yeah, if you follow my tips, you're definitely gonna get a better face scan than you've had in the past. And if you haven't got one before, definitely follow my tips so you don't have any problems with it the first time. But thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in for other videos, especially on NBA 2K16. I'm definitely planning on playing a ton of it. So subscribe to my channel, like the video if you liked it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.